Hey there, game family. Welcome back to Felseal Arbiter's Mark. We've just finished up in Okul Cavern. We're getting ready to head over here into the Okul River Bed. I've done just a couple of battles offline, gain a few levels, nothing really significant. So we're just going to move on right about now. Okul River Bed. I thought we were going into a battle. This is the place the Elder directed us to. We need to set the explosive device right here. I don't like the sound of that. These weird trimmers are going to make setting the device risky. Listen! I think something's coming. Yeah, I think so too. What is that? Oh. Unbelievable. We need to eliminate that creature before I can set the explosives. Oh, it's not just one creature, it's multiple. Better and better. Defeat all foes. Well, here we go. We get to place five more units. So, of course, we've got Rainer deployed right there. Anadine will send you this way. Uh, we'll keep Yates with you. Virgil, you can join us over here. And Lana, you can keep Virgil company. Let's do this. Begin! All right, Rainer, Night Scoundrel. What are we going to do, Rainer? Uh, well, the same thing we always do. We're going to Fleet of Foot. And then move. Uh, I don't know if those things... Surely those things don't have to move in a straight line. Yates, the Fellblade Anatomist. If I move up here... He can't attack at an angle. But he could cast Darkness, surely. Let's see. These things... Oh, water. Water would be wonderful. Dark is going to do okay. Let's go ahead and do that. 25. Wait a minute. Am I am I opposite on reading my... I think I am. So I don't want to use dark on it. You know what? Let's, let's pull back. Let's pull back, Yates. Let's chill right around here and just kind of see what's happening. Actually, let's go ahead and use the mana stone so that he'll have some magic to use. All right, Demon Knight, Knight Anadine. I am not entirely sure where I want to move you either. Let's let's keep you right here. You can protect Yates a little bit. How does that sound? With protect Yates. All right, now Kyrie is now a ranger with a really nice reach on that bow. These things are just not going to take a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and have you move right over here. Kind of maybe out of the way a little bit. We can go with a haste. In fact, let's let's go ahead and haste up Virgil. Congratulations on that haste, Virgil. Oh, he moved. And wow, okay, so they're casters of of a sort.
Now water, if if I was misreading, let's move a little closer. I can't move any closer, unfortunately. But I could use fleet of foot, which will allow me to move in order to move up into this area where I'll be able to get to them fairly quickly. Well, if we're going to have to wait, let's at least defend. And now we've got the chance to use an elementalism ability. We could go with a locus. So if I'm reading it correctly, they're going to take, to take significantly less damage from water, 46. But I might be reading that backwards, 15. So it's significantly more damage from water rather than less. All right, that's wonderful. Beautiful, there we go. And we'll just stay right where I'm at. Well, I really don't want to get in front of that thing. I don't know what's going to happen if I do. I'm going to try it and find out though. I'm in the wrong area, here we go. We want to hit it with uh, probably a poison. Poisoned and bleeding, nice. Now, should I go ahead and hit him with protect again? I don't think I have any way to actually attack him at this range. I can't attack on the diagonal, not with this character. Focused rage is wonderful, but that's not going to help any. So let's per let's protect Yates once again. Can't move, but we can do a rooting shot. Nope, that won't reach. Can't seem to hit anything. No. Ancient power. What if I use Dark Bolt? That's really, really low range. So it looks like Kyrie, you're just going to end your turn right there, doing absolutely nothing. Since everybody's stacked up, let's go ahead and hit a mass Aegis here. Increase our resistance. Put a little bit of space there, just in case. We're going to keep hitting it with water as much as possible. He seems to be fine right where he's at for now. All right, here we go. Uh, let's just start hitting it, I guess. I wonder if I can root it in place. Is there any chance of that? 0% chance of rooting. Well, I guess we'll just shoot him. There we go, 17 points of damage, not a lot. Eight! It's going to deal eight points of damage to do a direct attack. That just doesn't seem worthwhile to me. When we could go, let's go with a Dark Locust. And I really need them to move into a place where I can do something with them. So I know what I need to do is move Yates slightly away so that I can get Anadine in there. We will continue to have Yates use Dark 
magic attacks that have a little bit better range. And I think that's going to be one of our best options. Right now, what should I be having her do? Let's do this. We'll go ahead and keep hasting some people. And she's fine right where she's at. I don't have any reason to move her. There we go. Loco Rush. This is what I was worried about. You can see the target zone for delayed attacks by pressing the details button during your turn. A delayed attack. So that's going to go off later. We need to move. We need to move Anadine out of the way and uh, Rainer, honestly. Elementalism. Let's we can water two now or we can save for water focus or locus. Sorry. I think I'll just go with water one this round. So I can attack. Let's try. This one's not bleeding, is it? No. We've got a 67% chance to apply a bleed. Got it. Good. Now we're going to move Rainer over a step. He's taking a little bit of damage. That's nice. I really wish there was something I could do here. These will not really heal. Scout's not going to do any good. I could move forward now. She can move. Let's do that. And then we can hit with Dark Bolts. Rather than move there. Let's move this way, and we can help focus down the one in the center. I think that's probably the better choice. Get one of them down, then we can all focus in on the other one. All right, she doesn't have a rage that will do dark damage, does she? We can deal, de deal defense down. That's a 100% chance to hit for three turns. That'll be not a lot of damage, but that defense down might help us out quite a bit. So there we go. And then we need to get her out of the way, but we can't. Oh, no. Evidently, she, I forgot she was rooted. She is going to be in real trouble now. Oh, they summoned something. Ouch. All right, this fight just got a lot more interesting. We're going to want to move out of the way. But our back to the wall. Breach! Something big is coming. I don't like this. I don't really need to move, I don't believe, to do a dark attack. Oh, he hasted himself, uh, or gained haste from the counter, possibly? I'm not sure. Hold on, let's see. Do I have to attack the head? Yes, I do. That's fine. I'm okay with that. What else do we have? We've already used the ar arterial cut. Can we dirty hit this guy and maybe blind him? Not gonna do a lot. It's a very low chance, but let's give it a shot. It worked. All 
All right. Against my better judgment, I'm going to move right over here. And... Wow, that would have been great if I could get them both. It's not going to do it. Will this finish it off? It will. All right, that's one down. Now, I think rather than focus on the smaller guys, we'll continue to focus on the worm. Let's see. Shall we try to rend this? It's defense is still up and the, the that defense down seemed to really be helpful. Oh, good thing that missed. That looked like it could have been really, really nasty. Who is the most hurt? Both Lana and Yates are really hurt here. I think she's just going to stick it out right where she's at. We're going to throw heal two on Yates, which will also heal Lana, I believe. She gets some vicarious healing. Oh, I don't want to move him down there. That's dangerous. Let's go right here. There we go. Whoa! That's an entirely new form of terror right there. Uh, we've got to get this guy down as quickly as possible, I think. So these spaces still appear to be safe. We're going to hit him with everything we've got. Not attack. What am I trying to do? We want to dark bolt this thing. I have a raffle burst. 1.15 times dark attack plus mind damage. Uh, the only unfortunate thing about that is I believe that I have no way of, to prevent that from hitting anyone around her. We're just going to have to go with this. We're going to risk this, put her right here. I'm going to go for a vicious slash. Oh, not a vicious slash, an enraged blow. That's what I'm thinking of. Let's do this, 42. She's going to take a lot of damage from that. Hmm, I wish we could reanimate. <laughs> it could be helpful. He can't prevent himself from hitting anyone either. So instead, let's go ahead and heal, heal Anadine. We have little else we can do. Just a small heal. We really left her out there by herself, didn't we? That's not good. Draw her back in. Now, what can you do here? 
mass barrier maybe i really don't want to barrier that i don't want to barrier either of those guys we'll just drop that right here great And she missed on the counterattack. That's too bad. That could have been really useful. Now she's rooted. And he's going to Loco Rush. She's in real trouble unless we can find a way to get her out of that. He's still bleeding. He is still bleeding for another turn. That'll have to work. I can't move over there. I think, I think we might, oh wait, she's going to get a chance to move, but she, she is rooted. I don't think I have any way to get rid of the root without moving someone else into danger. None of these items will do that, right? Remedy, all debuffs, but you have to be one step away. Who do I risk this with? Let's focus on getting this guy down. If we lose Lana, I will be very sad, but worse things could happen. Almost got the small one down. I wonder if we're going to have to face off with two of the larger worms if I take out this small one first. There is nothing really that she can do. So let's go right over here. I'm wondering, I don't think I don't think there's any way we can push him into this pit, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. No, okay. Still did a lot of damage. That was great. I am not going to risk losing Yates. I would rather lose Lana at this point, as terrible as that is. That dark one is just not helping us. And we don't have a single area attack, like a, a, something that would just hit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, okay, look at that. Panacea two removes all debuffs from the target and reaches. What? luck to have just seen that I'm going to move her back into danger over here but maybe I will go ahead and re-haste have I I'm not sure I've ever hasted Lana actually so there she goes she's got haste now I'd like to kill him before he can use this loco rush. Oh, come on! No! That very nearly killed her, but didn't. She's still alive. She's still in there. Way to go, Lana. Way to hang in there. 
wonder how close I need to be to hit this thing in the head. That looks like it's close enough. Trickery. Let's see if we can put a bleed on this thing. While it's sticking its head out here. Uh, Wrathful Burst might be strong enough to do this. I can't move, though. That's the problem. And that's only a short range, right? Oh, it would hit. It would also hit ah, one of our own. It's just not quite worth it, but maybe, maybe, maybe we're going to do it anyway. We are. Do it. All right, holy magic. Gonna cast heal two on herself here. She also has panacea two. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get in an attack. She's really low. Maybe I should not attack. Yeah, let's do this. Let's move over here. Instead of attacking, we're going to move over here. Have her use a potion. Wait, wait. Possibly a heavy potion? Have her use a heavy potion. Puts her back in a pretty good place. I don't know. Is he going to be able to do it? He is going to hit himself. Can I move somewhere where I would not quite hit myself? Is this going to be close enough to kill him? Well, I've got a dark too if I need it. Ninety-six percent chance. Let's go for it. Come on. Yes. Yes, he is down. We're just going to stay right where he is. Uh, does that thing have a buff on it? Nope, just the bleed. Can I sneak attack? For 13, that's worthless. Okay, how about a dirty hit? I don't think that... I don't think blinding it's going to help any. 21. You know what? At this point, let's get over here and maybe try to get one of these little guys down. Maybe let the magic users focus on the other guy. I'm not sure where I'm taking her. We lost, we lost controller there for a moment. All right, let's let's go ahead and continue on. Holy magic. Um, oh, I could spend a lot of points putting rebirth on her. I'm not sure the healing is going to be worthwhile. She's already hasted. You know what? We will do heal one. This is just a small heal. Keep her topped up. Why not? Very little chance he can do anything here. Straightforward attack. Nothing too great. 
34 points of damage. I won't really sneeze at that. That's fine. Unable to move. I don't know if I want to risk getting right in front of this thing, but I think I'm going to do it. It's not much, but it's something. Ah, no, I can't bring myself to do that. It's too painful. You know what we're going to do? We're going to throw a rock at this guy. Take this rock. Ha! Rock is one of my favorite abilities they've put into this game. I love it so much. All right, Yates. Uh, rather than go over there, I think now would be a good time for us to heal Virgil. Virgil is in pretty bad shape. Yates is our backup healer at this point. We're gonna move right out here. It was nice of him to use that on his own guy. guy is gone one to go all right we can get close enough here that's that should be good we're going to heal anadine come on over here cataract I don't think I'm willing to get out there. I don't have arterial cut. Yes, I do. And it applied the bleed. Wonderful. Scar tissue. I'm not sure what that ability does. Can I root that? 80% chance of rooting him. Let's give it a shot. Excellent. Hopefully that will keep him from burrowing. Yeah, come right down behind him. I'm assuming this guy can be flanked. Yes, that's going to be a back attack for 83. Wonderful. Perfect. I wish that I had could have maybe boost up Rainer's critical hit chance again. He seemed to have a really high critical hit chance when he was uh, still a roguey character. All right, he has a small weakness to darkness. It's better than nothing. Double quicksands, wonderful. I don't like that. And a loco rush. All right, let's hit the mass shield that we could do a barrier again. Uh, you know, a barrier automatically evades the next offensive status effect placed on them. That's kind of nice. We can do barriers and shields. And finally, she is almost out of danger. Myco leather. I can't afford to get behind him now. Or can I? 
it looks like Rainer will actually no, no. He'll get a chance to go before this guy, but not before the rush goes off. So it's gonna move here and go for a side attack. That'll be what that'll be just a plenty damaging enough to be worthwhile, especially when we hit him from behind by a ranger. Bow to the backside. Wonderful. End your turn. You, you know what? I actually don't know if I want to get that close. It seemed like she got hit from one space away last time. So I'm going to have her end her turn. No, chivalry. We're going to increase defense, of course. But I'm still going to have her end her turn without moving. Now, take a step back if I can. I can go ahead and throw out an attack. It's not going to be much, but it's something. Every little bit counts. Take a step back here. Uh, we're not close enough to do what I really would like to do. That's okay. We'll hit him with this. Since there's no one over here anymore, we're just going to move off over this direction. And we got a new ad in this fight. Let's go the shield this time. Gonna be comfortable right where you're at. You're gonna need to move right down here. I don't think he's bleeding yet, is he? Oh, he, he is. For one more turn, we've got a bleed on him. This is so much more difficult to fight than I had expected it to be. I really moved into range just so I could get the extra damage from the side attack. Knowing that that still leaves her easy, an easy target for one turn. The enraged blow just doesn't seem to be worth the the damage that she takes herself. We're just going to go standard attack, do our best, just whittle it down 20 and 30 hit points at a time. Really don't want to do that. I don't want to I don't want to hit Rainer. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Just going to hold out for a turn. Where is he at? Water locusts. We can use water locusts. Wow, that is just not a lot. Especially considering water is supposed to be the weakness here. I'm going to leave him right where he's at. Okay, I'm not sure if the root didn't hit or if it doesn't matter now. I wasn't paying close enough attention. I really should have paid better attention. Ouch. Lost the bleed. Double up on our healing. We'll just stay right where we are here.
Try to get the bleed back. No, no bleed this time. Let's see. Can I go for another rooting shot? Possibly. No root. All right. That's okay. Virgil's a little low on health. We'll give him a protect. Here we go. Dark Blade. Poison Slice. Best case scenario, we actually land the bleed and the poison. Worse, we get nothing, but there we go. Both of them. Nice. I'm going to help bring this guy down a little bit here. We can. Ouch, Rainer. Perhaps Virgil could have used that just as much. Here we go. This ought to be a nice hit. 68. Not bad. Not bad. Kyrie getting really good with that bow. Ah, uh, let's let's see. Can I get a good hit here? Yes, let's take him out. Now we can all focus again. For a short time, I'm certain. No! Where's that loco rush gonna go? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Got little I can do from here, so let's fleet a foot. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach across. It will. Okay. They are both in bad shape. We're going to go here. Now Kyrie's not rooted. Definitely don't want Kyrie going down. It's going to come out right over there, so we'll just end the turn right here. Anatomy. Panacea. Now he can move, hopefully. Far enough not to get hurt. Move right here. And potion. Maybe he can survive a hit now. Chill out right there, Virgil. Here it comes. And I'm sure he's going to attract another ad. Yes, he is. That's okay. He's going to die really quick now. Got to move one space closer. And 
And that'll do it for the big monster. Now we can just turn around, take this little guy out, call it a day. Holy magic, heal two. Uh, I'm actually going to put that on Kyrie. Might as well just end the turn right here. Get that side attack, but if I can root, that'd be wonderful. No root, though. Scar tissue. Maybe that scar tissue is preventing the roots. I don't think it should be. We did root one earlier. I think we're just getting really unlucky. Not quite close enough. Should still be able to hit it with an anatomy ability, like Dark Locus. I believe this fight is all but over now. Got the bleed in, excellent. Those bleeds have been a major portion of our damage. What if I just attack it? Why not, right? Go for it. I'm sure by now Lana has some aggression she needs to take out. Will this count as a back attack? Nope, this is a side attack, but that's okay. Should be enough to kill it. There we go, finally. This was a much longer and much more difficult battle than it first appeared that it was going to be. Victory though, Kyrie never falls bonus, 19 points this time, and Lana, the MVP of this battle. We'll want to make haste once the charge is set. We should have plenty of time. But the farther away we are when this thing goes off, the happier I'll be. Whoa, that is a lot of explosives. The Elder certainly isn't a bazil of half measures. It is done. Now, let's move on the double. And that is it for the oh cool riverbed battle. Thank you once again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay sharp and be excellent to each other.